Yeah. Speaking of older players, uh, you know, it, at the receiver position, you know, at the top, especially like we got a good blend of kind of some old faithful, some guys in their prime, some younger players, some guys that are proving it, some guys that are up next. And one guy, you know, one position I would say that's really hard is around that wide receiver three to wide receiver six spot. Like I think that the two at the top are clearly, in my opinion, Tyreek Hill and CD Lamb. I don't think a whole lot of people have receivers in that unless you're trying to be a little bit bolder, right? I And I don't mind it. But I really think that ARSV, that's Amon Ross St. Brown, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, and A.J. Brown range is really hard for people to figure out, especially at the Jamar Chase and A.J. Brown side, right? Like A.J. Brown's a player, I think he always just gets shuffled to the back of that. We haven't seen like a 1,700-yard season out of him. And in Jamar Chase, a lot of people love Jamar Chase, can think he would be the best receiver in football under certain certain circum, uh, circumstances. Who do you like out of those two, A.J. Brown or Jamar Chase? Oh, Jamar Chase. Come on now. Oh, you, you said that you know this. too. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, I think that – so Jamar Chase – and the, this kind of reason why Marvin Harrison is being drafted, right? Because Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson, like we've seen these two wide receivers. Jamar Chase's rookie season was a top five wide receiver in fantasy football. Um, and, and when we're talking in terms of points per game, like Jamar Chase, I think, like I, I want to get this correct before I say it, but I want to say his lowest finish is wide receiver 11. Yeah, last year was wide receiver 11. And why did that happen? Well, yeah, Joe, Joe Burrow, beginning of the season, was playing on one leg. Finally was starting to get healthy there. And then what's he do? He inj injures his wrist and he's out for the season. So, like, we've seen Jamar Chase average over 20 fantasy points per game year two. Um, people will say he can't get the targets. Last year, before Joe Burrow got hurt, he was averaging the most targets at the wide receiver position in the NFL with over, I think it was 10.4 per game, uh, which was the highest, or maybe there's one other player. I, I can't remember exactly, but he was top two for sure. And targets per game. So when I look at the situation with Jamar Chase, it just comes down to Joe Burrow's health. And right now, like I want to say Joe Burrow is probably going to be healthy for the start of the season. Just OTAs ha or uh, training camp hasn't happened yet. So as long as he's healthy and he's actually good to go for the start of the season, I learned my lesson last year calf strains are no joke. like you, you don't want your players having calf strains um and it, there's no injuries prior to the season then i'm all like honestly i'm probably going to move jamar chase up to be my wide receiver one overall because i think cool. he has that ability and the other thing is too is tyler boyd's not here anymore so there's some targets there's about 100 targets available in this offense now i don't think that they're all going to go to jamar chase but him and t higgins could be the two guys in this offense where they can see potentially 25%, like Jamar Chase has already gotten the 30% target share, 29% target share in his career with T Higgins there. So these could be just an offense that's hyper focused on two guys. You also had Joe Mixon gone. So there's some more targets. They replace it with obviously Zach Moss, but I don't think Zach Moss is the player uh, that Joe Mixon was. And also, you know, you have Chase Brown, but like there's some targets that are available in this offense where it could be just two guys. And as long as Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow stay healthy, anybody can get hurt. I really do think that Jamar Chase has the upside to finish as a top five or top, uh, the best wide receiver in fantasy football. And when he's, when Joe Burrow has been healthy, like we've already seen it, he's a top five wide receiver in fantasy football. So, yeah. I mean, I could get to like top five upside. It's, you know, but when you have a player like AJ Brown, who just finished back to back seasons of wide receiver six and wide receiver five, like that's to me, I'm like, I'll just take what? that guy. The guy that's 1,400 yards, both both of those Ooh. seasons been with the Eagles. The guy that's his quarterback doesn't throw touchdowns. touchdowns. He's been that's around the guy you want seven touchdowns and 11 touchdowns. That's uh, crazy. In the last few years. But AJ Brown to me is just a stable of consistency and a guy who just got paid. He's 27 years old, so he's in his prime right now. Nothing really to worry about with him as far as, as injuries. He's he's never really been, you know, a guy that's been out for for extended period of time. Uh, I know in Tennessee he had his little bang up right before he got traded. But AJ yeah. Brown to me is a guy there, and things are going to open up with this offense. Saquon Barkley is going to provide a whole lot of opportunities downfield for AJ Brown with the run game being established now. And if Kellen Moore really is going to come in here and change this offense ninety five percent of the way, like uh, he like Jalen Hurts has come out and suggests. This could be a mega season for AJ Brown. He could get peppered with targets in this offense. You know, he's already had 145 and 158 over the last two years. If we see AJ Brown with somewhere closer to 170, we're talking about at least a 1500 yard guy and probably somewhere around the 10 touchdowns. So I think we're hoping for that out of a guy in Jamar Chase. We're hoping he finally gets to that level. 
uh, just for him, we haven't really seen – we haven't seen that season out of him since his rookie year. It's been two years. So, um, yeah. and with T. Higgins in a contract year. year – Yeah, T. Higgins in a contract year. You did make a good point, though. I'll say this. You said Chase before uh, – you said early in the season, Jamar Chase was averaging over 10 targets a game. But you also mentioned the calf strain with Joe Burrow. So a little of that was because of his inability to push it downfield. You're not worried that once Joe gets the, the, the big arm back, the ability to push the ball downfield – those targets are going to be a little bit deeper instead of the uh, short yards. I, mean, I think that's, that would be even better because we saw rookie season Jamar Chase as yards per reception was 18, 18 yards per reception. Past two years, it's been 12. And I think that like there's been a change in that. Like the thing with Jamar Chase, why that's happened, because early in his career, he was used as a deep threat. Like that's kind of yeah. what his game was. Where now it's been a little bit more closer to the line of scrimmage. They've moved them around the formation. He's been playing in the slot. They move him out wide. So, like, he's just been moving around, and I think that's better for him as well. And what else, like, counter to that is his rookie season, 13 touchdowns as a rookie. Yeah. Uh, second season in the league, nine touchdowns. That's in 12 games. So who knows what he does in 16 games if he's able to stay healthy. Anybody can get hurt. That's always the case. But, like, when we're looking at – uh, AJ Brown, who I love AJ Brown. I think AJ Brown's one of the best wide receivers in the league. Everybody should think that, right? But like Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts hasn't thrown for over, I think his max touchdowns is 13 touchdowns or, or 23. My dog's about to bark because my, my wife just got home. Um, but yeah, here, why don't you talk real quick? And I, No, well, you're all good. I, I can barely hear it. So it's it's oh, good because okay, okay. even with Jalen Hurts, though, you know, that's why I think this Kellen Moore thing becomes very intriguing because a lot of what they were running before was tush-push when things got close to the line. Um, you know, they they were so run-centric, and Kellen Moore's not going to allow that. Kellen Moore is going to make you push things downfield. That's just what he does as an offensive coordinator. But when I think of A.J. Brown, it's just a model of consistency, like whether it's through targets, whether it's through touchdowns, whether it's through receptions, whether it's through yardage, he just finds a way to consistently produce and it's in a lot of times it's throughout the entire course of the season. And especially once he gets streaky, the one thing I'll say about Jamar chase is that it's a, the same thing. A lot of people don't like about Mike Evans is that Jamar chase is kind of big game centric. Like he really takes advantage of bad matchups. And I think Joe Burrow will look other ways. He'll look to T Higgins. He has to, he has to fight a lot to get the ball, right? Like Jamar chase is always like, yo, let me get the rock. So I think he has like big game potential too, which often carries his ADP, but you know, Jamar Chase, man, I'm not too mad at him if you're like, yo, he's the wide receiver one, the wide receiver three. I don't really see it getting there, but, I mean, the dude is probably one of the most talented receivers in the league, if not the most talented receiver in the league, depending on who you ask. And, I mean, I have him as my wide receiver six. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's not like I have him super far down the ranking. Hello. He's he's a, he's a great Hello. player. I just think right now for what he has proven in his career versus what the top five guys have, I got him just outside of my top five. So only last thing that I'll say about it is, I mean, he's proven that he can be top five, but I I, I look at this kind of with like how CD Lamb, I love CD Lamb last year. CD Lamb was one of my favorite targets in the back end of the draft, made videos. And the reason, like some people didn't like him because he didn't prove that he could be wide receiver one, but the year prior, we saw him be a top five wide receiver and Dak Prescott, that was the year Dak Prescott broke his thumb. It, we just needed these two guys to stay healthy at the right time and it could work out. For me, that's just how I look at the situation. Who knows if it ever materialized? Maybe this year, Jamar Chase gets hurt and Joe Burrow stays healthy for the full season. That could happen. And we just unfortunately never get to see these guys actually work this thing out. But I think if these guys can stay healthy, I just have no doubt in my mind that he can challenge. Does he end up being the wide receiver one? I don't know. I think that's also another hard thing to do. There's some luck in that but I definitely think that he can be the number one player. Uh, well, number one wide receiver in fantasy football. We'll have to see right. that. I'm going to put you to the test real quick. Wide receiver number one overall. What do you think his numbers could be? If everything's golden in garden, what, I don't know what I'm just saying right there, but if I everything mean, I, is golden, play 17 games, Burrow's healthy. Jamar Chase is healthy. If you had to put maybe a, a bold estimate on it is what I'll call it. Bold estimate yeah. for, to be the wide receiver one. What would you say? I mean, it, He's already shown he can go double-digit touchdowns, so I think he can easily get to double-digit touchdowns. 13 as a rookie, I think that he can get 13 this year easily as long as those two guys are healthy. Um, he already – he I want to say his rookie season had 1,500 receiving yards, basically 1,500 receiving yards. I think that he can push north of that if both these guys are staying healthy once again. And 
Um, last year, 100 catches. So we know that's in the range of possibilities as well. I think that he can push for 100, possibly 120 t- catches as well. So like, I think that realistically, if these guys were able to stay healthy, I could see him going for like 120, 1700, and like 1500 or 15 touchdowns and Damn. could challenge to be the wide receiver one. And, and like you said, th- there's no denying the skill, right? He's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. He's already yeah. shown us that. It's just things need to happen. They haven't happened yet. Maybe they'll never happen. Who knows? And I'll always be one of those players that everybody's chasing for, but it just can never actually happen. So I like we'll the see. pun there. I like the pun there. Everybody's <laughs> chasing for. All 